Hi, yesterday I went to see Firestarter, the new film version of the Stephen King novel. There was previously an adaptation in 1984, uh, directed by Mark L. Lester, as memory serves, and um, it was supposed to have been a John Carpenter picture, but uh, after the underperformance of the thing, Carpenter was reassigned, and the resulting film just faded away into history. Now we have a new version from one of the writers of Halloween Kills, and with Carpenter providing the music, finally, in collaboration with his son and godson, uh, who previously did the music for the two new Halloween films. The film itself is, as I say, an adaptation of the Stephen King book. It's about two people who, while at university, had participated in a drug trial, which has left them with psychic powers. They had a child who is uh, psychokinetic and pyrokinetic. And there are government forces who are after her because they feel that she could be an extremely powerful weapon whilst uh, her surviving father and her go on the run and uh, try and find somewhere safe. Uh, it's dreadful. Um, I have to uh, acknowledge that I did actually fall asleep during part of the movie, having had, I thought, quite a good night's sleep the night before. Uh, but I also went for a run first thing. Um, but I, I dozed off watching the movie early afternoon, and I checked a synopsis afterwards to see if I'd missed anything important. And it turned out that I hadn't really. Um, the film feels very flat and empty. Um, looking through a synopsis of the novel, I find that huge amounts of the original plot have been excised to bring it down to an extremely tight 90 minutes. Uh, and when I say tight, I mean boring. <laughs> um, there's seemingly very little plot. Uh, the characterization doesn't really make a great deal of sense. Uh, Zac Efron as the father is completely miscast. There's just seemingly no effort to making the whole thing coherent. There's no attempt at opening out the world of the story at all. There's a secret secret government office cultivating people with psychic powers, and there's very little expanded upon for that. Everything is just boiled down to the central conflict of this man and his daughter against a, a monolithic agency, and the result is uninteresting. And for someone to make something with that amount of potential uninteresting shows an extraordinary <laughs> skill. Um, but, yeah, it's boring, humorless, fails to find anything interesting in the extremely promising premise. It's really just a complete waste of time. Um, I have no idea if the original film is any good. It's half an hour longer, so it would have had more space to expand on the original plot, I think. But it sounds like it's probably a great deal better, and frankly, I can't imagine it being any worse.